Shalom. A lot of start out giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, Bahashem, Kagadash. Double honors to the apostle and those great millstone. Citation to the Philet. This question is truth. I'm crossing four corners of the truth, Sarah Chetty. I rest the brother I'm one above from the Birmingham camp, Alabama GMS. Don't get this sentence going to, um, just really just, just, just came up on um, Dabu 7, um, about uh, a shortage of canned goods, you know, vegetables, you know, it's a shortage, it's a shortage of vegetables in, in, in stores and Walmart, you know, in stores now because of the poor harvest, you know, the harvest is, that, uh, the crops, you know, in the Midwest, you know, um, that haven't been growing, um, crops due to the weather, you know, the different weather, you know, the storms that kept coming through that way, you know, the tornadoes and rain, heavy rain and so forth, they came through that way, the Lord, which, which the Lord, how about Sean Shaw, kept sending that way, and now look at what's going on now, now the stores are being affected with, uh, affected about, you know, uh, affect, uh, being affected um, by, you know, those storms, you know, that the Lord has sent, in, sent, sent to the Midwest, sent, sent to the Midwest, and now the crops, you know, they can't, they ain't been growing no crops, you know, no, no corn, and all that stuff like that, you know, vegetables. So now, goddamn, the stores are hurting the farmer now, and it just popped up. They just now posted these, these uh tags, you know, on the shelf saying like, hey, you know, we low on vegetable canned goods, you know. But um, I'm gonna go to the article about this. So this um the article, for, this is the article. For, this is the article from Zero Hedge. It's like, <clears throat> forgive me for that. But um, it said due to a poor harvest season, we're we're, we're experiencing shortages on many canned vegetables. You know, so you know, going on down here, a little tag right here, and it says that as you. As you will see below, similar notices are being posted in candid vegetable sections of Walmart stores nationwide. So, yes, yeah, so it's nationwide, man. It's being posted, man. But in reading on down, but so far, the mainstream media is being early quiet about all of this. So, the mainstream media ain't putting nothing out about you no know, shortage of canned goods, man. Why ain't they saying nothing, man? This should be news. You know, but on the the people that's posting it, you know, the people that get it on social media, I turn the news, they get it and tell the people what's going on, man. Because the mainstream media, mainstream, mainstream media ain't going to say shit. They're going to wait till it's basically too late and then shit going to hit the fan. Shit about to hit the fan, man. It's, it's just the beginning, but shit finna hit the fan, man. You know? Um... It says, for months I have been reporting on the extreme bizarre wedding patterns that are causing crop failures all over the planet, but I certainly didn't expect that we would already begin to see product shortages on the shelves of major U.S. supermarkets this summer. What I am about to show you is shocking, but the truth needs to get out for those that share my articles on your website. I know that all the images, blah, 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 see, taking, so let's get started, okay. So yeah, man, he said, hey, he, this dude said he's shot. Whoever he she whoever you know this article, it's saying about the article, you know, say they, they they are shocked about this already, man. It's already, man, you know, happening, man. Shortages, you know, on, on canned goods, you know. So hey, we we heading to the time of famine, man. Hey, Lord for bring a famine, man. And on and on the way, and, and, and Lord's on the going on the um. We just got to faith, like me myself first, for, for me myself first and foremost, and said the the, the apostles, elders, and the sisters, I can brothers, is teaching the truth of the Lord. Hey, the Lord's making moves, and it's happening. You know, the days are going fast, and these prophecies are popping up, man. You know, like uh, apostles say, popping like popcorn, like literally, like every day is like something's happening, man. You know, every day something new is happening. So the Lord is making moves, man. And just got to remain spiritual and be in the spirit. Me, myself, first and foremost, you know. You no, know, not just saying it. Like, hey, you know, the Lord's making moves. And um, just got to hope and pray that it be part of that number. Lord have mercy, you know. And uh, so uh, from there, um, 
go to the rest of this article, but it says, uh, drop that. It said, and this right here said from Scott L. Biddle, Beetle or something like that. This is only the beginning. Food shortages already happened. They said, this is only the beginning, man. So, like, you know, I'm going to get to the scripture. Say, we, we in the beginning of the sorrows right now, man. It's going to get real serious going forward. But reading on, found at Tennessee Walmart and can vegetable sections. You know, that's, that's in, in Tennessee. And it said, a side note, prices... Prices are already up twenty percent on bread, milk, egg, egg, well before, etc. Well, etc. You know it was an egg right there. Well before the crop shortage even affects short shelves, or store shelves. Three months ago at Walmart, bread was ninety nine cent for the off brand. Now the same bread is a dollar thirty nine and rising. Woo! Here we go. This is it, man. Here we go, man. Here goes the inflation, man. This this the same thing that happened down in Venezuela in South America, man. Things start food shortages start getting short in the food shit in, in the food stores and shelves and prices were going up, man. Inflation, man. So here we go, man. We heading to those times. And I say, Lord willing, man, I, man, Lord have mercy. It's gonna get serious, man. If it gets serious going forward. It's just no game right here. Lord ain't playing no game. Y'all watch on shot. Not playing no games. And by this happening, you gonna that that uh that microchip, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast in the scriptures, is gonna get mandated soon, man. And I know Paul Star had put up a video saying it could happen next year. It definitely can be implemented by next year. By this happening right now, you know, food shortage and no no crops. The crops ain't um, producing no food. You know, no, uh, no, no corns and no stuff like that. So, <clears throat> uh, food prices is going up, finna start going up. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, man, this is serious. Yeah, man, we had to those serious things. Some more in this article. I'm gonna post the article though, but it's, yeah, this. It's getting serious going forward, man. Let's see. Uh, let's try to some more on this article. That's about it. So I'm just going to get the scriptures, man, and end it off. Yeah, man, we in those times. Just got to hold on. Me and myself, hold on. Keep the faith in y'all about your shine. You know what I'm saying? The positive elders and the sincere like like brethren. You know, it's teaching this truth, you know. It's, man, here we go. It's just the beginning, though, but it's going to get real. But, um. Reading on the second Ezra chapter 16, verse 17, and said, Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? So Ezra asked me, like, who's going to deliver me in those days? When you talking about those days, you talking about right now. In those days, you mean those days, man. You mean the beginning of the sorrows, man. You know, and we just got to hope God by trying to have mercy and deliver, you know, you know, you know, deliver, you know, his, his uh, his men, and you know, I said, hopefully I'll be part of I know, his men, you know, the men of the Lord that let from from these these these, these uh troubled times. You know, but read on verse 18, the begin the beginning of sorrows and great mourn is the beginning of famine and great death. So yeah, man, we in the beginning of sorrows and great mourners, man, and and, and and famine and great death, man, it's coming, man. It's happening now, man. You know, as we speak, as, well, as I speak, and you know, I'll just bring it out. But like, you know, like I said, you know, Paul's elders on down for years and prophesying about the about these days, man. We here, man. You know. So, you know, I said beginning of wars, you know, we got you know, the back and forth was going over there in the Middle East. And and say so, and the powers shall stand in fear in the beginning of evils. You know, bad times are coming, man. You know. Um, what shall I, what shall I do when these evils shall come? So as as what shall I do? When the evil shot come, well, you just got to trust in y'all by shot, man. So all you can do is pray and just hope the Lord have mercy. You know, me, myself, first and foremost, and just, you know, Lord, you know, he going to take care of his men. His chosen that did his will, kept the faith, didn't faint, didn't give up, you know, kept the faith no matter what situation that was in. You know, even now going forward to keep the faith, you know, and just hope and just pray and just hope that they, they pray and beg to y'all by shot to have mercy and that the Lord, you know, he, he take you know take care of each and every one of his uh 
<clears throat> his men. And like I said, hopefully I, I I be part of that number, you know. And Lord have mercy on me, you know, and and I'll be taken care of in these times going forward, man. You know, it's going it's getting serious. But on reading on verse 19, behold, famine and plague, tribulation, and anguish are sent as scourges for the amendment. So yeah, man, famine and plague, tribulation, anguish. Let go to word famine again, man. Here we go. Famine, famine. Uh, hey, we Lord's gonna bring it, man, to America, man. <clears throat> you know. But on reading on. Verse 20, but all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, but be always mindful of scourges. <clears throat> so, yeah, you know, this is just the beginning, but you know, you go ahead, two thirds, and you know, and, you know, these people, proud people in America, you know, still not gonna turn from their wickedness, you know, but it, it's gonna get serious though, man. It's gonna get real serious when they start seeing that that food going down, prices going up, but you know. 21, behold, virtue shall be so good, cheap upon the earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Even then shall evils grow upon the earth, soil, family, great confusion. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, we got, you know, your, one, your four dollar meals and stuff like that, but, you know, they think they, people think they in good case, but even then, when evil shall grow in famine, soil, and family, and great, great confusion. That's, 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 when, that's, when, that's what, what's going to happen, man. People from being great. Confusion, man. They swore, you know, the, the military, you know, the police and all, everything finna be amped up in these streets and in the famine, man. You know, the food shortage, you know, these stores gonna be low on food, high price, price uh, bread going up, probably up to five, gonna be going up to the five dollars a bread, you know, soon. You know, it could happen, it'll go up soon to five dollars and then up to ten dollars, you know, whatever, you know, you know, I'm just throwing numbers out there, but it's, it's coming to those times, man. It's going to get real. You know, when folks go into those stores, seeing those prices go up because the shortage, man. Because, of, you know what I'm saying, the crops, no, the crops, I'm not, the farmers are not um, <clears throat> harvesting no crops. No, 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 no corn or nothing, no wheat, nothing is growing for them, man. So that's going to lead to, like, say, red bread prices going up, milk, and so forth. You know, it's, it's going to get real, like, like I just read in the article, man. But I'll finish it off with verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth upon the earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escape the hunger, the sword, the shall the sword destroy. So yeah, man. Yeah, man. It said, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall, shall perish of famine, man. So we had in the time of famine, man. You know. A lot of people out here are gonna be starving, man. And, and just gonna be out here eating on people. It's gonna get serious, man. Like. We had to some serious times, and I say me myself, I just man, my my spirit be strong, and yeah, I buy some shot, yeah, I shot just be, you know, you know, yeah, spirits, you know, stay solid, you know, I stay solid, so, I be solid in the spirit, y'all buy some shot, you know, not be moved by none of these things that come, you gotta have a real tough spirit, man, in these times coming going forward, man, it's gonna get serious out here, man, you know, and um. <clears throat> and like saying, no, the sword, the sword, the, the sword shall destroy those that escape the hunger, you know, which is like say martial law, you know, martial law, these military troops gonna come in and kill them, and then ultimately, you're gonna be the nuclear missiles too, and you have a shower turner, you know. But with that, you know, um, that, you know, anyway, major two lines, want to go to that, you know, about the famine, man, it's, it's coming, you know, we, we in the beginning of sorrows and. And famine and so forth, man. And great death is coming, great destruction. So with that, again, like all praise to you, high by Shimon Shah by Shimon Kagadash, double unto the positive of great millstone. Citations to the old fillet, this wishing is truth across the four corners over for truth, and charity. And to the apostles, elders, to the sisters and brothers, to the few awkward sisters, do listen, keep the faith in Yahushua, keep fighting with that. Say shalom.